<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Sorry that I took so long to make another video, but there hasn't been that much to talk about Red Power anyway in the last time. And I've been kind of busy, so that actually fit my schedule. But since I wanted to show you that I'm not that yet, I made this video to show you some updates in Red Power. First off, the creative mode inventory is now pre-populated with most of the Red Power 2 items. So you can just get them from creative mode inventory and place them in the world as you'd expect. Note that while the amount will not decrease when you place them down, breaking an item in creative mode will not destroy it, but drop the block in item form. This happens to all micro blocks in Red Power 2. So the item will not be destroyed, but instead drop as an item. Cutting of micro blocks now also works for Nether Brick, as well as the new gem storage blocks for Ruby, Emerald, and Sapphire. Fortune and Chance have now effect on harvesting Nikolite. So if you have, for example, Fortune on your pickaxe, you will receive more Nikolite dust than without. In a future update, this will also be applied to Ruby, Sapphire and Emeralds. You've already seen that Nikolite is once again fixed and will drop more than one ore per block again. This also applies to Flax. In addition to previous LR recipes, the LR furnace now allows you to smelt iron bars and iron doors back into iron ingots. You will receive the appropriate amount of iron, matching the investment to create the item in the first place. Additional fixes I won't be showing directly include distribution distance rules have been fixed, coloring stub tubes now works correctly, the retriever can now pull correctly from bottom slots and will not drop bounced items. Or dictionary support for Plutricity batteries and indigo paint recipes. As well as stuffing mine cards. New feature in PR4C, backported from the current development version, is the ability to charge Plutricity batteries from your battery box, which will allow you to operate devices in the nether. Previously it has not been possible to operate Bluetricity powered devices in the nether, but now you can simply charge a battery, take it to the nether and put it in a battery box there to operate the device for a limited time. While PO4C is mainly for the back part of the battery box, it also includes a fix for the default coloring in empty sorting machines, a fix for the counting bug in filters, and improved damage item comparisons. A hardly announced hotfix for PR4C also includes a fix for machine and wiring crashes. So if you have encountered a weird crash when powering enclosed wires from below, you might want to re-download the machine and wiring modules of Red Power. And since Minecraft 1.1 is now finally out, the cycle of updating all your mods is going into another round. This time this might happen quite fast. Modloader, Modloader MP and MCP are already updated as of the time of this recording. So the prerequisites for many mods are already in place. Forge is not yet updated, but it's already in the works and I expect it to be available soon. That's all from me today, thanks for watching and see you soon with some fresh updates.